Hi, this is Harry Moynihan. Watch my interview on Hibernian TV. Harry, thanks for joining us here on Hibernian TV. As we edge towards the end of the under-19 league season, the next game up is Hearts at home. What's your mindset heading into this one? Um, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Um, obviously, second last game of the season, Derby. Um, so all the boys went playing, all the big games. And I think we're looking forward to it, really. I know there's no week to play for now. You used to go and enjoy the game and just really go for it, see if we can get out of it in the last two games. So definitely looking forward to it. Obviously, in terms of the mini derbies that have been played already this season, they've both been classics, haven't they, really? Yeah, they've been good, aren't they? It's yeah. a good standard when you play them. Uh, there's not as much football as you play against all teams. It's more brilliant series, I'm going stuck in. But they've always turned out to be good games, eh? It's a genuine not. rivalry as well, isn't it, between yeah, the two teams? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you think because younger, it's not going to be the same, but it's always fierce. Everyone's getting stuck in. And uh, all the boys give everything they've got. But it's a good game, eh? After yeah. the disappointment, after losing, uh, you know, conceding twice in stoppage time yep. uh, at Rickerton. How sweet was that win at Easter Road? That was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, but I think it's been about two or three years since we actually won uh, Beat Hearts in the league. So it would be even better to actually get one of them in the league. Um, but it was good uh, to put them at the cup. Unfortunately, we couldn't continue in it, but it was good to beat Hearts and put them at them. Um, hopefully we can make up for it and get a win. Make it a fuss in a few years and get a win here. In the league. How would you sum up your own individual season over the course of the um, I think it's gone quite well personally. Yeah. Um, last season I didn't, didn't play as much to start with um, until Christmas time and then I kind of gradually got in. This season I started quite well um, and I feel like it's kind of got better and better. Um, I've enjoyed every minute of it, played most of the games, played a lot, a lot of good football but when I'm playing a good team like they've got out there, everyone enjoys it. You want to be involved in it all the time. In terms of an, an introductory interview, can you tell our viewers a bit more about yourself, your background in the game? Yeah, um, I've really well, been here for six years now. Um, I've not really had a lot of chances, I've had a few chances, a few reserve games, between the first year and then again. Um, but I've been just kind of working away, hoping for, wait, wait for my chance really, hoping it's going to come along. Um, I've got a few chances and I've hopefully I've taken them. Um, and the gaffer's been watching me, the gaffer's seen me. Um, but I've enjoyed it when I've been here and hopefully I've got a future here as well at the club. Because obviously you're from the west of Scotland, how did you get discovered by Hibs? Uh, I started at Dundee United when I was about 9-10, there for two years and then I moved to Livingston for a season um, and that's when I heard that Hibs were interested um, and I knew people would go through that and they kind of talked me in it, saying big club and obviously I knew about the history, great history, great team and I knew a couple of the boys but when I was at Livingston it always helps me on a really good team, but I thought, yeah, I'll go for it. It's a kind of chance, I can't walk back. I took it and I went on the back. Good decision, great decision coming here, great club, and it's brilliant. So, as you mentioned, you're from the West, but I take yeah. it you stay in Edinburgh right now. How, yeah. how, how has that been overall? In terms it's been alright. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I moved into uni about three years ago, and I moved in with a couple, a couple older boys, and I was the youngest. Yeah. So, I took a while to settle in, but the last were great. Um, and that's my third year living through Queen Margaret Uni. Yeah. Um, Who did you stay with? It's me, myself, Ross Colwell, uh, Mark Lancaster, Phil, Addison, Jimmy Doris and Adam Mitter. Um, yeah. Good banter, brilliant, <laughs> great laughs. Sometimes it's just uh, it's a bit boring sometimes, start of the year, but as soon as uh, the students come in, the fresh of the week, you have a good laugh and it's good fun, eh? it's alright. So it's kind of like living the dream of shooting last night and professional football. It's one of the flat. Yeah, yeah. But, um, ah, it's good, it's, it's alright, it's good fun. And what are your objectives then, building on them? You mentioned obviously you want to build a future here at Hibs. Yeah, what definitely. are you looking to do? Um, really, I need to, well, the gamble's been here for a few months now. Um, he's seen this play quite a lot. Uh, well, I don't know if he's played, seen it enough anyway. Um, so we've got two games left. Hopefully, try and impress in the last two games. And hopefully, I've done enough to get a contract for next season. Um, I know there's a few boys fighting, a lot of good players in there. So hopefully, I can be one of the boys that move to the next level. Hopefully get a first team contract and just put the best one for there. Become a regular on the first team squad, be brilliant. And um, by the day, step by step, and just do what I can.